In spring training baseball, the Cardinals scored five runs in the third. They beat the Mets 6-1, while the Royals lost to the Cubs 7-3. The Green City girls basketball team has made it to the Elite Eight. The Gophers advanced after a win over Norborn last night thanks to a strong finish and a growing confidence every game. We talked in the locker room before the game and we all got our nerves completely calmed down and we came out and played the game just like a normal game. Well obviously it's it's a great win for us and we our press helped a lot and we hustled and we never gave up and our confidence level was really high. I think it came down to the end and our free throws like it made a big difference to have like that clutchness and ice in our veins when it came down to it honestly. We work really well as a unit and I think that, that makes us all very successful. Scotland County will be in Hannibal tonight to face New Haven. It'll be a battle of style. Scotland County likes to push the pace while New Haven is patient on offense and they want to keep the game in the 50s. The Mount Pleasant boys basketball team found out who they will play in the first round of the state tournament next Tuesday. It will be Cedar Rapids Xavier, a team they lost to in the first game of the year. The players can't wait for the rematch. We know it's going to be a challenge, and it's going to be a really good game, I think, and we'll be ready for it, and I'm looking forward to it, and I think we all are. I'm just ready. We're ready to play. I mean, we've played these guys before. We know who they are. We know their personnel. We just have to get it done this time. In college basketball, it's Truman State and Southern Indiana in the GLVC basketball tournament tomorrow night. Both teams can score. Southern Indiana averages 89 points a game. Truman State, 88 thanks in part to one selfish play. That starts with our guards, especially with Dwight and Corey. Uh, they do a real good job of, you know, penetrating downhill. And, you know, for me, being the four man kind of helps me, frees, frees me up for some shots, and uh, especially on that short corner. It's a very unpredictable team on offense. You never know who could get going in which game. And I feel like that works in our benefit.